Welcome back, my wasted youth. This is Rev taking you through Pokemon Special Pikachu Edition the right way. When last we left our intrepid hero, we had made it all the way to Cerulean City, and we had actually got a Bulbasaur in our party. Well, now, how did we do that? Well, all we had to do was make Pikachu that happy. Just so as long as he gets little lines around his head. Hey, that's great. We also talked to this guy who happens to know that, well, badges and what they do. And yeah, I do have at least one. So let's see what we actually have here. Which of the badges should he describe? Well, how about the Cascade Badge? The next one we are actually going to find. Level 30 will obey me. That's great. Okay. And it lets me use Cut Outside. Okay. Well, how about Thunder? Oh, speed increase. Okay, and use fly outside. Hey, that's great too. Well, how about the rainbow badge? Level 50 will obey me. Okay, and it lets me use strength outside of battle. Perfect. Okay, how about the soul badge? Defense increase. You know, that's always going to be useful, and I can use surf outside of battle. Perfect. Okay, how about um, the marsh badge? Level 70. Perfect. And how about, um, what the Volcano Badge? Pokemon Special Abilities Increase. That's great, too. And so the very, very last one is All Pokemon Will Obey Me. Well, you know, I don't think that it's going to be all Pokemon. I think it's just, you know, my Pokemon. Because, yeah, if it was all of them, there'd be no point in any battles, because, ah, whatever. So now all we've got to do is just go up this bridge. Hi, Gary. Well, yeah, I guess. I mean, I've been talking to a bunch of people and, you know, uh, yeah, hey, by all means, let's battle. Now, Gary has got nothing that we haven't seen before, but he does have them at levels we haven't seen before. He's going to send out a level 18 Spiro. I've got a level 10 Bulbasaur. I'm immediately going to switch into Pikachu. Now, his Spiro does have something called Fury Attack. And Fury Attack is actually bad. But I have a strong feeling that th two, maybe three Thundershocks should take this Spiro out. So hopefully, we can actually damage it before it damages us. That Fury Attack is really bad. So. How bad is it? Well, let's find out. Oh, perfect. That could have gone horribly wrong, and it didn't. So, great, man. That's wonderful. And about to use a Sand Shrew? Well, yes, I will definitely change, and I'm going to switch right back into Bulbasaur. Now, Gary is going to send out a level 15 Sand Shrew. My Bulbasaur is only in there just for the experience. I'm actually going to bring in Butterfree and just use Confusion on this one. And hopefully it'll actually work. I have a sneaking suspicion that we should be okay, but a uh, sand attack is actually going to mess us up for our accuracy. So hopefully, every time that scratch hits, it will actually kind of negate the uh, penalties that we're getting from um, sand attack. At least that's kind of what I'm hoping anyway. Usually it works, sometimes it doesn't. Well, change that. Usually it seems to work. So. Hopefully, we'll be able to take care of this. And, um, it kind of looks like we did just that. Hey, great, man. So, now Bulbasaur should, yep, and he does, grow to level 11, exactly what I wanted. And Butterfree has grown to level 16. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Use a Rattata. Well, of course I'm going to switch out. Now, I'm going to switch right back into Bulbasaur. This is only a level 15 Rattata. But, remember... At level 14, Ratata learns something called Hyper Fang. Hyper Fang is a very deadly attack this early in the game. Later on, it's not really that bad, but it's not really going to be great for us. So we're going to try and hope that, oh, that we got lucky there too. Hey, you know, I don't mind that at all. So now Mankey has grown to level 14. That could be good, but if I send it out again you know it could be just fainted. So, in comes Bulbasaur one more time. And with Bulbasaur, the first thing I'm going to try to do 
even at such a low level, is leech seed. And fortunately, Eevee has done um, sand attack. So we're going to try it again. And if we can actually do it, hey, that's perfect. Just like that, Eevee is seeded, and now I am going to switch into Pidgeotto. This may not be the smartest move, but I think we should actually be okay with it. Um, let's find out. Oh, that's definitely not okay. But Leech Seed is actually going to help us a little bit. So I'm just going to sit back on Quick Attack and hope this works. Uh, Quick Attack really doesn't do all that much damage, and that's fine, but Leech Seed is going to help a lot with this fight. Now, Gust Mist, I wanted to see if it would actually do more damage than um, Quick Attack does. Still don't know. So I'm going to try it one more time. Does it actually do more damage than Quick Attack? Not really. So I think I'm going to switch back to Quick Attack, and hopefully we should be able to take care of this Eevee relatively quickly. And we do get a shot off, and it wipes out Eevee. Perfect. We have just defeated Gary. That's great, and Bulbasaur has grown to level 12, which is exactly what I wanted. And, hey, wonderful. No, man. Okay, okay, okay. You okay? Get what? Oh, Bill, does he have a strange black hat, wear a shirt with an R on it? Because, yeah, that guy's a little creepy. Oh, did he now? Oh, he's the guy that did that. Okay, well, yeah, I think I will. Thank you. Yeah, not if I smell you first. Okay, now, here is what we are going to do. We are actually going to go back between battles and actually heal up before we continue these things. Oh, not you. Two dollars. Man, you're not even the same guy. Well, yeah, I will, man. You gotta tell the guy from Viridian City something. Um, let's see. Uh, family emergency, grandmother kidnapped a school bus full of penguins. Yeah, tell him that. Okay, so now this bug catcher is going to send out Caterpie. That's fine. Bulbasaur is definitely going to start and immediately switch into Pidgeotto. Now, like I've said, I actually want Pidgeotto up to level 16. There is a reason, and you'll see why. But for now, um, I'm going to focus on Pidgeotto as much as I can. Uh, I'm still going to give um, Bulbasaur as much experience as I can, but the reality is any battle that I can use Pidgeotto for, I will definitely use Pidgeotto before I use any of the others. So, it looks like one more gust, and Caterpie is down, man, that's great! Absolutely perfect. So, um, about to use Weedle? Hey, sure, of course I'm going to switch out, and I'm going to switch right back into Bulbasaur. So, out comes that stupid-looking Weedle, and here comes Bulbasaur, but now immediately switching right back into Pidgeotto. Okay. So now I'm going to do the exact same thing. Poison Sting may actually work, but like I keep saying, for whatever reason, it seems a lot less effective on birds. And, well, all flying types for that matter. So I think I'm going to continue going with um, bird types against bugs, because, well, especially against all poison for that matter. So let's see if one more gust can take out this Weedle. And, oh, we actually did get poisoned. That's okay, though. I do plan on healing right after this battle. So, that's fine. And, does anybody gain some ex uh, enough experience to level up? No, they don't. Okay. Hey, anything you want to say? Oh, man, not this. Your best is not good enough. Okay. Now let's take on this trainer. Oh, you're second. Now it's... Okay, is this kind of like the power of being third? Because... Uh, okay. Well, now this lass has actually just got two for us, which is great. The first one is a level 14 Pidgey, and yeah, I'm just going to switch right into Pikachu and a lot of hope. Now, even though um, Pidgey is a lot more defensive than um, Spiro. This could actually go horribly wrong, so it is still kind of a, a big gamble. Now, Sand Attack is going to hurt, but that's okay. Let's see if... Oh, we should be able to do it. 
and perfect. Absolutely wonderful. And that's great. Bulbasaur has now grown a level. We can always use that. And Vine Whip is going to help a lot. Last is about to use Nidoran Female. Okay. Yes, I am going to switch. I'm going to switch back into Bulbasaur. Okay, so now I think probably the best shot that we could go with is, well, Mankey. So let's see if it actually works. It's level 14 versus 14, and ideally we should actually get something out of this. Now hopefully Double Kick isn't going to do that much damage, and let's see if Low Kick actually works, and if it does absolutely nothing. Great. Okay, well, let's see if we get lucky, then, because it doesn't look like it at all. Okay, so far, so actually, so far, so good. What I'm thinking is maybe one, possibly two more, and, um, well, this Nidoran should be done. Yeah, it looks like one more, so under the idea that uh, it flinched, that's perfect, and we have just defeated Lass. Absolutely great. That is exactly what we wanted. Well, you know what? You did... No, you didn't. You didn't do well at all. Oh, you know, I'm going to be so condescending. You're just not good. Ah, whatever. Now this youngster is the number, uh, number three. Yep, that's right. He has got the power of being third. Uh-huh. Okay, so, he is going to start out by sending out a level 14 Ratata, as we know this Ratata has got Hyper Fang. So, will Mankey be able to take it out in one shot like it did that um, level 15? Ideally, it should be able to. Under the assumption it hits, yep, perfect. Looks like that rat is down. Perfect. And so, both of them gain some experience, and out comes Ekans. Yes, I am going to switch out back into Bulbasaur, and then immediately right into Pidgeotto. Now, like I've said, we all know it's a poison type, so I'm going to see if this little trick continues to work. Poison doesn't work against birds. And hey, it even may work against birds, but it works less often. And that's great. So let's actually see how badly this can go. So ideally, um, Pidgeotto should be faster, but I'm not 100% sure on that. So we may not be able to be stuck in this Rap loop. Unfortunately, Rap can work up to five times. So it could take a while to get out of it. Now, it looks like with one quick attack, this should be over. So let's see if that's exactly what happens. Quick attack goes off and hits, and Ekans is down, and that's great. Uh, youngster is about to use Zubat. Of course, I'll change Pokemon, and I will change to Bulbasaur, and then immediately right back into Pikachu. Now, in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to Leech Seed first. And it isn't really necessary, but I think it's probably a good idea. Whoa! That is pretty big. So, now Leech Seed worked, and that's great, and now we will get him out of there. Leech Seed, or uh, uh, Leech Life works really well against Bulbasaur. Wow. Okay, that's fine. I have no problem with that. See, Leech Seed is actually going to minimize a lot of Zubat's damage. So even though they're the same level, this is still decidedly a Pikachu advantage battle. Which, hey man, that's great. And that's fine. So Pikachu will be able to take a little bit more health from Zubat, and with one final Thundershock, it looks like this youngster's Pokémon are gone. And Bulbasaur has grown to level 14, that is great. We have defeated Youngster. Hey, perfect. Stomp flat, yeah, let me guess. You did your best, your best won't do. Okay. And now, unfortunately, we are out of time for the episode. So, thank you very much for watching. This has been Rev taking you through Pokemon Special Pikachu Edition the right way. Thanks for watching. Till next time.